as am I, and our word of the day today is you bring one every single month is perfection. Perfection. So what about perfection? You Why know, is this our I, word of the day? I wear a shirt all the time that says imperfectly perfect. And you know, I've had to go through some stuff recently. And what I thought about was the people that I'm trying to bring over and see what I want them to do are imperfect. All of us are imperfect. All of us are fallible. And so we have to just give each other some mercy and a whole lot of grace and understand that we're not going to be able to know it all, do it all, and explain it all in the moment. And it's okay. It's okay not to be perfect. It's okay to make a cake that ends up lopsided. It's okay um, to have someone say something to you that you don't agree with and keep moving. It's okay. So how do you overcome that? What would be your advice for somebody that is striving, that has to have everything exactly what they want, whether it's a sport that you're playing that you don't want to make a mistake or an error on the field, whether it's your job that you're doing, you don't want to make that mistake. How do you overcome that, that tenacity to not be perfect? You know, one of the things I want people to know is that perfection is an illusion. That's the first thing. Uh, no perfect person except Jesus. Uh, and so when we look at other people and we think, oh my gosh, you know, take you for, you look so well put together and you're, you know, all the words are there, but you don't always say what you need to say. I don't always think what I need to, you know, think about it in the moment, what I need to do. So one of the things I would say is just give yourself a break. Mm -hmm. You know, don't be so closed minded that you're stuck on this thing has to be this way. Know that other people are making the same mistakes that you're making. And um, also understand that if it doesn't work out the way you want it to, you can always go back and try again. All right. And now you do have a new book coming out. It soon. is coming out soon. Please we are, excuse me while well, I take off my bra. Absolutely. Absolutely. Tell me about that title. Where, um, where you know, it's from? it's funny because uh, in 2019, sitting around, just heard in my heart, God saying, you're going to write a book, but you're going to have to go through some stuff. Mm -hmm. And here's the title of the book, and here are the five chapters. Um, and yeah, it was it was really funny because I thought, well, it's eye catching. It, it definitely will make people stop. But I thought about my mother who went through um, breast cancer twice um, and lost her life the second time. But I thought about how for women, um, everything that we grow up with uh, in a young age and even as we get older surround, you know, our, our, our breasts and our bras and making sure that they fit correctly and that everything is looking good. Um, only to realize that sometimes our breasts and our bras are not perfect. And so where do you go when it doesn't fit right? You know, I often tell people one size fits most is not the case. And most women will know what I say when it says that and you put it on, it's like, nope, we're not going past the shoulders. Um, I want women to know and men to know in this book that it's okay to say, I'm not okay that I'm still healing from childhood trauma, adult trauma, I'm still trying to figure this thing out. But in the end, you know me, I want you to find a piece of joy. Now, do we have a release date for the book just yet? No, I'm actually going back and forth, which I didn't know was gonna be a process. Um, I just finished the first 29 revised pages. There's a hundred and something pages in the book. Um, and so getting through that is a process. I thought, you know, they were gonna do it all, correct it all. And no, they do so much and then they send it to me and then I have to correct it and I send it back to them. And so it's kind of this back and forth. Uh, but I'm really excited about it. I'm really excited about the lessons that I learned, the things that I came through this time last Last year, sitting in this seat, I ended up uh, re-injuring my back and was out for about eight or nine months. I'm only at this place getting ready to walk. But if you looked at it last year, you would have thought I never would walk again. And so, yeah, that's We're what it's about. Yeah, me too. We're excited about you being here on Motivational Monday. And of course, as we get closer to your book release, yes. we'll be back. We're more, Absolutely. More words of the days and Absolutely. more wisdom from you. So yes. thank you so much. Thank for you again for having me.